this is Brian Clancy live in Athens, Georgia, Clark Central High School, where the Lambert Longhorns, they only fell short on the scoreboard. Final score 35-32 in the first round of the GHSA state playoffs. The number three seed, the Lambert Longhorns, came in here and gave the host Clark Central Gladiators, the perennial power playoff contender, all they could want and then some. I'm here standing live with Coach Sid Maxwell. Coach, as you said to your players earlier, you could not ask any more. They, didn't, they did not leave anything on the field. All they fell short is the scoreboard. Coach, your thoughts? You know, it was a, a great effort from the, the young men and the staff in preparation. And, um, you know, um, you know, you, you hate to see somebody lose in a battle like this because it was just back and forth the whole game. And, uh, you know, we just ran out of time. I mean, that was, uh, uh, you know, um, probably how they ended up. That's correct, Coach. You know, you expect this kind of effort maybe even in the state final to, 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 to go out like this, they, they could they could they could look themselves in the mirror as you told them in the post game and be very proud of their effort. Uh, this is a, this is an effort that you usually expect later in the round. And I counted seven lead changes in the second half, an, an amazing amount of offense on both sides. But you had some thoughts on how how your defense did too against the strong Clark Clark Central passing attack. You know, um, again, Clark Central's got a great running back. He's got many offers. He set your school record with over 1,700 yards. And for Clark Central, that's a long tradition of history. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, they had to go to the air against us. And uh, we had some young guys that had been stepping in for the last two or three games for uh, injuries. And uh, they played violently and played tough. And uh, But we took away the run and made them throw. And, uh, again, even got down by 10 points there with a few miscues on our end and uh, was able to battle back and take a lead change. So, again, you know, it was, uh, you know, uh, a chance for our young man to look and say, hey, we can do this. You know, as I think uh, as we prepare for next year, they should know that through hard work, uh, you know, just a little bit more effort may may get us on the top end of, of games like this. That's right, Coach, and to take nothing away from some of the efforts tonight on offense, as you said, it started with the offensive line. Quarterback Brock Maxwell, your son, went four or five through the air, 52 yards, and also 119 yards rushing. And meanwhile, uh, his counterpart, David Broaddus, 95 yards, 16 carries, and three touchdowns. And going further down the line, I understand that Daniel Myers, 1,000 yards eclipsed tonight with 16 carries for 58 yards. Again, to have that much uh, of an offensive arsenal, to be able to have that many that many tools to uh, of which to use. And 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 there again, you, you could have maybe tied it up. You've got a you've got a great field goal kicker in in, in Brendan Effort. He hit a, hit key, a key 37 yard field goal to make the game this close. Coach Fields, explain. How are you able to use that many tools in offense? They, it seems like your play playbook went pretty deep. Well, you know, everything starts with an offensive line. You can't do it unless you block people. And uh, we had Clark Central, uh, uh, our offensive line from Trevor Duba to uh, J.C. Uh, Fairfield, along with uh, um, Tor Peterson, uh, Chris uh, uh, Nick Suss, and, um, um, you know, just play so hard. Uh, you know, to open up some holes and get Bauer there. So it was uh, an opportunity for, um, you know, uh, Daniel, Brock, and David to, uh, to mass 384 yards of offense. And, um, you know, and that's just, uh, you know, like I said, just came up short with time. Like we have discussed, two, two great, two great teams face, facing off as a two and three seed might, might, might anticipate. It's a shame that one team has to go home, but that but that is that is the way it is. Coach, just one last question. Uh, I know that your region is very tough, as you know. Region Region A Quad A, every every game's a region play, so you might expect a, a tough game from anybody who came out of that region. Well, and just similar to ours, it is both teams have to play each week to get here, and you know, they sort of get you battle tested for games like this, and. Uh, you know, like I said, um, you know, they just came up on top. 
All right, Coach, any any final thoughts? Uh, again, congratulations. Yeah, I just uh, appreciate what you all do and Travis in the game, and uh, thanks for representing uh, Lambert Football Super 2011 season. Thank you very much, Coach Maxwell. This is Brian Clancy reporting for Listen Your Way Sports. Thank you.